Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review and swatches of what is it? The Kerucci and Colourpop Femrosa Liquid Lip Collection. So I own this is the only thing that I got from the collection. Kerucci recently launched a second collaboration with Colourpop where she came out with eyeshadow palette, bronzers, and liquid lipsticks, I believe. So this is the packaging from the Femme Rosa palette, and it's the collection was inspired by her love for being a woman and flowers. Um, I read that on her Instagram account and I thought that was really cute. Um, but you guys know that I have been abstaining from buying anything from Colourpop because I feel like they've been launching 500 things at once and it's just so overwhelming. But this particular collection caught my eye and a lot of you guys wanted to see what it would look like on my snaps. So I decided to cop the collection. This was $15. So it came in three shades. Um, two are ultra satins, nothing is matte. And then they have an ultra glossy that came in the collection, which is Contessa. So I'm going to be swatching this in this video. And I also picked up I Love Sarai's Mamacita. Um, this one, I didn't want to pick it up for a while, but I was like, you know what, let me just get it since I was ordering this. So I threw it in my cart. So I'll be swatching this as well. And I did a comparison swatch that I'm going to be posting on the gram and I'll see if I can put the picture somewhere in this video of all the shades like LAX, Avenue, etc. that are identical to Mamacita. So I'm going to go ahead, if you're wondering what I'm wearing today, I'm going to link everything in the description bar. This lipstick is just a concoction of a whole bunch of crap on my, on my dresser. But I've been loving wearing glosses lately, especially in the summer. Don't nobody want to be having chapped ass, dry ass lips. So glosses and ultra satins have been working for me this summer. So let me just take this off and I'll be back and we can do a, a review. And you guys keep in mind that I haven't ordered any lipsticks from Colourpop this year. So this is my first one. I don't know if the formula has changed from the previous ones. But I will let you guys know towards the end of the video. Hey y'all, so welcome back. So those are the three shades from the Femme Rosa palette collection, not palette. Um, this is Contessa, and Contessa is just a gold gloss. I feel like it could be like a topper over something else, or I don't know if I would wear it by itself, 
but uh, my overall review is that so my overall review of this collection is just I don't know how to say it I feel like I'm underwhelmed and I knew this was gonna happen you know um, the only color that stood out to me when I ordered it was Darling and when I tried Darling on I feel like I have three or five shades that look just like Darling if I do I will put them on Instagram um, Mrs. was okay um, I feel like I should have used a darker lip liner but the first thing that I grabbed was the BFF3 liner by Colourpop so it wasn't the BFF3 liner wasn't as pigmented as my normal chestnut by MAC. I don't even know what to say. So I've only had this gloss on for like a few minutes and it's already clumping up on the inside of my lips. I don't know if you guys can see. This is so gross and I hate when this happens in real life. You know when you're talking and you have that residue like on the perimeter of the inside of your lips. Disgusting. So that is happening right now and I've literally had it on for like five five minutes or, or whatever I um, mean this is no shade to anybody in particular so this is not to be shady to anybody I'm just being honest I was underwhelmed with this collection the colors I felt like were okay it's not something that we've not seen before I'm not gonna sit here and be like oh my god girl, I love it it's okay okay if you don't have something like this in your collection already go for it if you do don't and I feel like I shouldn't <laughs> <laughs> but I did anyways you know somebody got to do it you know but lately I've been feeling like girl all these collections and all these new releases all look the same so you're just not gonna get it and that's if you follow me on snap I swear by this I'm just not gonna get it just because because I have 57,000 other shades just like it for example Mama Cita that I'm gonna be swatching in a few minutes like I said I'm gonna be posting a picture of the arm swatches that I did towards the end so you guys can see for yourself we have so many shades that look like that but for some reason we still end up buying it or we still try to I'm at the point where I've stopped convincing myself that they don't look the same they do they're starting to look the same at some point we used to be like mm, this doesn't look the same we don't know what you're talking about but well, y'all they are all starting to look the same they are all starting to look the same so um it was okay um, again like I said it's because of me being that I have so many other shades so I'm just not I'm not I'm not yeah I'm not here for it and again like I said it's no shade to anybody it's just the truth so um let me know what you guys think about the shades but if I were to recommend a shade from this collection I would say darling um, Mrs. I feel like looks like some orange shades that I already have from Colourpop I can't remember the names but they recently just came out not too long ago. One second, let me check. Okay, so the two orange shades that I was talking about that is very close to Mrs. are Mama and Love Bug by Colourpop. Those three are in the same family. So it's like light, lighter, lightest. That's it. Or dark, darker, darkest. Whichever way you want to look at it. Um, so yeah, that's it. But I'm going to go ahead and swatch Mamacita. And I will see you guys after that. Speaking of Mamacita, I was reading a lot of reviews on their on the ColourPop website, and they said that um, after a while it crumbled and cracked. But I'm not sure if I will be able to wear it that long. But in the future, I probably will let y'all know in the comment section if it did crumble. But I'm just gonna let you know from what I swatch on here.
right, you guys, welcome back. So this is Mama Sita. Y'all know that I'm obsessed with vampy shades. Like, I think I have like 20 vampy shades. But this one is also similar to something that I already have. So I'm not surprised. But what I would say is right now it feels really dry. Um, the formula is maybe slightly different from what I'm, from what I'm used to from ColourPop. It's kind of thicker. Um, the liquid lipsticks ultra matte that I have from ColourPop are kind of like watered down. Some are thick, some are, you know, I've over the years I've had a few from the different batches, different launches. So this is on the kind of like the thick consistency side. It's not runny. Um, what I would say is it bleeds. So I've had it on for what, three minutes or less. But it bleeds on the inside, as you can see. Uh, I'm sure when I take it all off, my lips will probably be like a fuchsia pink or something. So from just talking to you guys, the only thing that I can say right now is that I don't like that two-tone that it's doing right here on the inside. And I applied it all the way. I've never seen this happen with any of my shades, actually. So this is the first. Um, let's see if I add more and let's just see. Just an experiment. So I'm gonna wait for it to dry and I'll be right back. All right, friends, so it is completely dry and it's still the same. That, <laughs> that was weird, but it's matte. It's not going anywhere. So do I like this shade? Yes, I do because I'm a sucker for uh, vampy shades. Even though I have 5,000 of it, I'm looking at them right now. Um, so the only thing that I can say is the two-tone thing that it's doing on the inside. I mean, what are you going to do? It is what it is. Uh, I really like the shade. I'm not going to say, oh my God, it's amazing because I have so many of it. But again, for you guys watching, if you've never tried a vampy shade, if you, if you want to add one more to your one, why not? It's $6. It's $6. I like how it looks on me and I like deep vampy reds. I can wear this shade, this kind of shades all year long. Um, so yeah, that's it. Right now, it just feels like your normal dry color ColourPop lipstick with nothing that I can't handle. So I will let you guys know how it wears eventually in the comment section. Um, I gotta go run an errand. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will see you guys on my next video. I'm not sure when that'll be, but I'm sure you guys understand. So thank you guys for rocking with me and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. So this is what it's looking like, you guys, when you wipe it off. This is it. What do you think? I don't like the fact that it stains my lip. Like, if I wanted to wear a different shade, I can't do that. I would have to wear something similar to what it stained my lip as. Or I can just put a clear gloss over it and just rock it like this.